pretty low. He does have the heals coming out from a bang. There's one bottle charge as well to south left to get him back healthy. What a bad. What's he gonna go for? Is level four. Only taking two points into the lasers so far. Maybe saving the points to decide if he wants to go battle. Meanwhile, bottom lane, it looks like we may get the first one. The ice shards do come out. He has trapped in, and it's actually gonna be the first one going away of the dire toss. That watch combination. They pick up two. Lumic can't get his carry away safely as Eternal Enemy does pick that up with a crypt swarm, but it's gonna be. So, DJ, Eternal Envy, they give that one up. Pyrolite Die was there to help out as well. Yeah, Mr. Chase comes up, he's standing on the high ground. That's going to be the cold feet. Is it going to be a snowball to follow up anything? Ice Shard is going to be a little bit off the mark as the rotation comes in from the Wisp. And Tusk goes down already with that Avalanche Tusk combo. Eternal Envy trying to go for a bang, but is it going to be enough? It's going to be the Ghosts. Spooky, spooky stuff. Take down the Wisp. One more right click. The Tiny frozen up. That's going to be the Fire Blast, though. Is the Chase going to be honest? The Borrowed Time does come out. Eternal Envy looks like he's going to live through this. Yaj needs to move himself away as two heroes have gone down. And the support's not going to be able to help him out there. The ghosts come out, the avalanche is there, but the Faltic Shield doing enough to protect Eternal Envy. One more right click though, Yaj needs to be careful going up to the T2-1 tower. And oh, the tree toss from the tiny. So Yaj, what's he going to do here? Just hiding himself in the trees. Rotation coming from behind though. It looks like they aren't going to be able to go on DJ. There's going to be the Fire Blast. Raging Potato with the right clicks and even your eye shards, mate. I'm going to be able to save you. You are Radiant Jungle. Are they being chased down by Yash as well as a Beng? The relocate did come in, but it looks like a Beng's going to go down. As Abed, does he get himself away? Not with that Blink Toss combo coming from the Tiny. The Ghosts come out, but it looks like Yash is going to be able to get himself away. Raging Potato chasing up. Does still have the Aegis? Funny looking Ghostbuster, but Raging Potato wants to carry on going with his ultimate. Does still have the ages, remember? But with three heroes stacked around here, it could be the end of the fuzzy wuzzy. Raging Potato with the blink away just in time. Numic is going to pay the life. Paid the price for trying to save Raging Potato's life. The Fossic Shield coming up on two heroes. Raging Potato needs to run himself away in a little bit. Raging Potato does have the blink available if he can scout anyone out. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Toast might be a little bit unlucky. There's going to be the Blink Fire Blast and Raging Potato. The Snowball just spins him to his death. One more right click from the Ursa. Does eventually kill off the Tusk. So Ohio Raging Potato. Just going to go for the fight, but he blinks over it. Goes for Palatine. That's going to be the Earth Shock again. Raging Potato gets Ice Blast to that face, but he just gets himself out after a... Less than a second kill on Pylai die, but Yaj not so lucky. Gets taken down by Eternal Envy. The curl relocates coming from Avend as well. Curl is there going to be a call down? He's going to be using it now on two heroes. Borrowed time does come out to Ohio. Secures the kill onto Curl. Curl a little bit unlucky as Abbott takes down a bang as well. The smoke being more than two thirds of the way through. Are they going to be able to group up on this? Maybe backstab. Smoke does break, DJ sees a bang, there's going to be the exorcism being popped as well, a bang trying to get out of this is going to go down, the ice shards do the work curl, he was set to duck in the air but it does mean that he's away from the ice bar, still hits though, right clicks call down going to be used, there is four heroes, five heroes grouping up in this call down but there's going to be no follow up as Raging Potato just blinks himself to safety, Tano. So 11 to 18, they're catching up. Let's go to the blink toss. Raging potato combination. Yash potato. Just secure the kills. Huh. Just thinking about that now. But this four man gang with the smoke not going to be yielding any results. Exorcism's gonna be popped, the Ursa is gonna be there with the snowball coming through as well. Ursa might go down, does go down, and the follow up with the Exorcism carries on. Lumic is gonna be able to TP himself away, just gets himself out in time. But this tier 1 tower, they're actually gonna go through into the Roshan pit with the Exorcism being up. Let Ohio tank that up. And now, Execration with no Ursa for 40 seconds. Can you contest this? 
Yosh spotted up by the two wards, splits himself in. The Avalanche toss combo comes up, but the Snowball doing a little bit of work. Cold on comes down. Anybody inside that pallet that does get himself up, the missile may do enough to finish him off as the mist coil. As well as the Aquatic Shield saves Palai Dyer's life and now Carl in a little bit of trouble behind him and Ryan's DJ wants to go for the chase. The Ice Shards do actually block him in and now the Silence, the laser, I bet picks it up with the rockets. And Eternal Envy has himself an Aegis. Yule Scepter, but there is a tiny behind. Ice Blast is going to come through with the rockets, it looks like. The Io saving everyone else, can't save himself as Abed once again cuts through the rock with his laser. Oh, and now Raging Potato could be caught out once again. The Ice Shards, that's going to be the Walrus Puncher as well. The Soul Drain as well as the Crypt Swarm could be enough to take down Ursa. And they save the kill for the DP. 16 to 19, 24 minutes in. And it could not... It might not be done yet. Ogre might have being chased up the spirit. Siphon as well. The TP might not be in time. Anything to stop this. Looks like the Glimmer Cape. So the Ignite does come out to try and slow this push. But Tyro's trying his best to try and take the aggro from the tower. With those aquatic shield charges. Uh, so coming in from the left. Has himself a haste now as well. But the cold feet's going to be there. He uses the earth shock, but it's not going to go onto anybody in particular. Ohio being chased down. The right one's going to be backed up now as well. And with all five heroes coming down on the side of the dire execration, could be in for this chase. Eternal Envy. Aegis is just going to wear off as well. He does have the exorcism if he wants to turn around and try and go for this fight. But yeah, does take down DJ Ohio being chased down with the fire blast. The borrowed time isn't going to be keeping him alive for too much longer. And Raging Potato does pick that one up. It's going to be extremely hard, especially when it's going to be a four-man smoke and Abed falling up the rear. Eternal Envy once again leading the line. Does come across Leomic. It's going to be run forwards. But the Yule Saps are not going to be in time. The Ice Blast is going to come out onto three, four heroes. The group up. BKB pop, BKB pop by Yaj. It looks like he just wants to carry on going in this fight, but the Walrus Punch may keep him locked down long enough. The toss comes onto Pilai Dai, but Yaj isn't going to be able to get himself out safely. One more right click. Pilai Dai picks up that kill. And now the mid lane with the exorcism. It looks like DP wants to carry on chasing Eternal Envy. He's raging potato. Doesn't have the Yule Scepter in range, but those ghosties. Going to be chasing down the boat. Yule Scepter is going to be used now. And the silence comes out as well. Ursa is going to be able to get himself away. He's going to be able to pop that ult in time. As the ghost just starts sapping away the life. The ice shards on the mark. Trap him in. He does pop the ult, but he's being kited and controlled through it. Dig on down Roshan. Is there any follow up? DD is available on the Gyrocopter. Where are they going to go for this? Because the Exorcism just keeping them outside the pit. Now the blink forward with the Avalanche Toss combo onto Eternal Envy. Just survive through that. Everybody in the snowball being moved forward, but it's going to be a call down with two, three heroes inside it. Abed takes down a bing, but Eternal Envy needs to get himself. Well, he's already dead. He gets taken down by Rage of Potato. And Carl takes down DJ. And the chase is on. Abed does get the blink away. And now Yaj. <laughs> so the smoke comes out from the side of the Fnatic. Are they going to be able to find anything from this? They do need to be careful. Beng is in the about to work. That's a damage, but the Hex does come out. The Ice Blast, the Snowball, look, but he gets to relocate. A Gyrocopter gets out safely with the help of the IO. The Courier, man, not as lucky. Taking a lot of damage for the... But the relocate comes back in. Are they going to try and support this? The cooldown's going to be there. Ohio with the aphotic shield. The Crimson Guard's going to pop there as well. Eternal Envy tossed up into the earth. A right click's come out on him. BKB's popped by Yaj as well. Borrow time coming out from Ohio. He's going to be able to survive through this as well. Just keeps recharging the Dagon and the rockets. The laser combination takes down two. The chase is on Eternal Envy. Wants to carry on going this with the exorcism just about worrying off and coming back to him. Carl, the only one left alive being chased down. No follow up. Looks like it's going to be a 44 minute game. And Fnatic going for the win. BKB pop. Carl wants to try and defend this with all he can. And it looks like the Ogre Magi is going to come in for the defense as well. Crimson Guard has been popped. Sigil comes over. There's going to be the Hex to deliver Cape. The Dust to reveal him as well. And now it looks like Eternal Envy with the Spirit Siphon. They are going to be able to take down at least two of these heroes. The buyback comes in from Carl. 
Yeah. And at least somebody went back for the range racks. But the tier 4 towers have been exposed and taken down. Uh, so trying to come through with the silver edge to try and do what he can. And we'll be able to spot a tunnel end with the right click as well as the bash from the Abyssal Blade. But it looks like Execration is just, just going to have to settle for DJ. The Refresher is going to be used now as well. Ohio doesn't have the borrowed time anymore and no mana for these Fatic Shields. Can this be a turnaround? It looks like Fnatic were going to end the game right there and then. But Execration take down Ohio. EE mid lane, there's going to be a pistol. He gets four staff back out. The cooldown comes through the BKB as well as the range pop by Raging Potato. Walrus punch just to keep him kited up for now, being really taken down by the exorcism. And it's a lot of damage. We do secure the kill. 85 seconds without the exorcism. Tiny down now as well. This is going to be game. GGG. Called three minutes after I thought it was actually going to end. But Execration in the end can't hold on. But now to come back with the power of anime. And EE. Leads his team to victory. It is a best of three though guys. So Execration have the ability to come back. If they can get two games on the bounce. I've been Roman Roll Gaming. Again this is Fnatic versus Execration. I hope you've enjoyed the match. Stick around there will be at least one more match coming up.